so this is one small additional video for week five Thursday item and this comes after I recorded this start or start here video at the very end I mentioned that I forgot to do a step so I thought you know what I'm just gonna give you the video here to give you that step so if you click into this item hopefully you watch this video and do this step before you do the rest okay that's the intention Okay, so the place, the thing I forgot to do was have you create what's called a git ignore file. And what that is, is it's a file that you create in your repository root that when you add certain files that match the condition of um, the um, condition of the commands, like if it looks in uh, these directories, and you'll probably recognize this one the most because that's the one we created when I showed you how to view the file. So what it says is git git, when you are uh, versioning control my directory, ignore the following files. And you really need to do this before you do the clone. Okay, so and you can do it up on GitHub itself. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try to make it really easy. First thing you can do is just copy, because sometimes it's a weird file that most people, until they've done this file, have never created, because instead of ending with a dot, it begins with a dot. So dot git ignore. So what I'd do is I'd go over to my um, repo, right, for my GitHub pages. I would create a new file. Um, and in this new file, I would name it. So that's my git ignore. Okay. And actually what happens here on git, and so if you're using Atom, go find one. I don't have uh, readily access, although you can find, uh, I think Atom is in here. As a matter of fact, VS Code is in here, but I don't like the one VS Code includes. It's just kind of like a Visual Studio, and it's just much longer than most folks need. So now, so if you're on Atom, go find it. If you're on uh, VS Code, just come over here and copy this, and then create that, okay, or copy that into the edit. Uh, you don't need to preview it or anything like that. And it actually uh, automatically, because it recognizes what you're doing, is adding my uh, git ignore file before cloning. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and commit that into the branch. So now so FYI, so now it's there. So do that before you do the clone. And then on your local system, when you do the part, because you, and I think I may have mentioned this, but on the local system, uh, when you then open that folder, you may need to, and I think you will have to go back through that process of setting up that one task, okay? Because I believe... I'm not seeing it. I know it is in here. I'm just trying to see if I think it's B. Anyway, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I just want you to know that you will probably have to go through and you can go through back and watch where I originally created the command uh, that actually ended up creating the task.json file that you would need in order to have that run. Now, that's all you need to do. Do that before. I am going to do one thing, though, because notice I put that up right on my repo. But this is something, and this is not a command you need to do, so I'm just showing you just because I want you to see, is that one command. So we've been doing git push, which pushes the changes up. Well, one other command that you probably won't need to do, but just FYI, it does exist, which is a git pull. So what this does, and you can see what it did, is it actually went out there and got that change that I did to the repo, okay? Uh, added that file, so it brought it down into my local system. So I just wanted you to have that. And again, if you don't do this step, I'm not going to mark off, but I'm just going to tell you it's good to know, understand what the file is, create it before you clone it, and understand if you ever would need in the future this git pull command. All right, talk to you later.